to my channel. If you are new here and you have no idea who I am, my name is Chanel. I run a blog called ChanelFiles.com. And over here on this small but growing corner of the YouTube world, we talk about God, fashion, luxury fashion. We do some blogging. We love to work out. We love to eat healthy. We love to take care of our skin. And last but certainly not least, we love to live the blessed life. So if any of those things are of interest to you, then I would love and appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button down below and while you are there hit the bell notification so you are notified when I upload a new video so as you guys can see today's video we are going to be talking about my favorite purchases specifically for slash from the spring summer season that I am very excited to be restyling re-wearing repurposing all of these things for the most part are luxury brands one of which um, is more or less like a contemporary luxury brand but generally speaking these are luxury items that I just honestly have gotten much more wear out of than I intended to and I will continue to wear them and a few items that I didn't get much wear out of that I want to make a conscious effort to wear a lot more this summer season so starting in no particular order I have everything here on the side of me so that is what I'm reaching for um, but first and foremost, well, actually, first and foremost is there are pearls all throughout my sweater, as you can see, and it's going to hit the chair, um, the arms of my chair. So please bear with me if you hear a lot of clicking and clacking. Girl, it's the sweater. I'm sorry. Um, but the first item that I am looking forward to getting more wear out of that I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get more wear out of, and that is going to be this beautiful silk Chanel scarf. Um, this is something that if you've been watching me for at minimum of a year now, um, you know I purchased this last summer season. Also videos and or pictures should be coming up over here. Um, but this is a beautiful silk scarf. Please forgive me, um, it's super wrinkled. I didn't have the patience to steam this out, but again, silk scarf from Chanel. Um, I purchased this last year during the summer. I absolutely love it. It is huge. It will definitely not fit in the frame of this video, but I really love it. And like I said, unfortunately, I didn't get a ton of wear out of this. I definitely wore it more or less for like pictures, but I didn't honestly get enough wear out of this like in real life. So I'm definitely going to make it a point to wear this more out and about every day. I love this you guys know me and Chanel we we have a love-hate relationship um, but I am very happy with this purchase and I'm definitely going to make an effort to get more wear out of this item this spring and summer season moving along this is an item that I want to say I purchased at the tail end of summer if not the tail end of summer then maybe even like early fall of last year and it is this absolutely gorgeous Brandon Blackwood denim bag I absolutely Love this bag. I'm quite sure you guys know who Brandon Blackwood is, but if you don't, he is a black accessories designer. And I want to say when I initially saw it, it was sold out, but I signed up, if I'm not mistaken, on a wait list to be notified when it came back in stock. It came back in stock. Again, it was either late summer or early fall of last year. Um, so I didn't get a ton of wear out of it, but trust me when I say I will be getting my wear out of this bag. And I believe this is called the Kendrick bag, which I want to say is probably one of Brandon's most popular styles. This comes in a ton of different colors, textures, hardwares, but personally I love that this is denim and specifically that it has the gold hardware. This is also in the larger of the two sizes. Um, I know that this also comes in a mini size, which I mean, girl, how much more mini can you get? <laughs> in my opinion, if you know me, then you know that I'm not really like a huge mini bag girl. So for me, this is as mini as it's going to get. But I do know that the Kendrick bag is made in like a mini version. However, this is the bigger size of the two. And I love this bag. The quality of these bags are great. And not only that, but the price point is amazing. Um, I wanna say this was $185. And honestly, the quality is definitely giving more than $185. So absolutely love this bag. As you can see, that is the bag. Again, it's very much so like a trunk inspired style, which I personally really love. And like I said, the girls go up for Brandon. So if you have yet to purchase a Brandon Blackwood bag, definitely sis, go ahead and do so because 
why not support a small black business so moving on i have two pairs of shoes here both of which are on the completely opposite end of the spectrum one pair i literally don't think i wore a single time last year which is crazy because i love these sandals and the other pair i could not stop wearing i will first start off though with a pair that i don't know why i didn't wear any last year but i will be wearing these a ton this year because i'm going to make an effort to do so and that is going to be my beautiful Celine slides if you know you know I absolutely love these slides I want to say I purchased these I think it may be 2018 or 2019 I could be lying I would have to look through my Instagram feed or just I don't know look on my phone somewhere i absolutely love these slides and y'all it took me so long to find these and when i did i hopped on them i want to say i found them on ebay from a private seller she had the box she had the dust bag they were in relatively good condition um they did have some signs of wear but generally speaking these are in good condition hopefully i'm actually holding these up so you can properly see them they have a really nice weight to them as you can see on the bottom which i know is gross but they do have like the Celine stamping on the sole and I absolutely love these slides like I said for some reason I just did not reach for these at all last year but trust me when I say I will be making it a point to get a lot of wear out of these slides because they're gorgeous they're beautiful they like I said have a great weight to them which I don't mind when it comes to a sandal in the summertime and I will definitely be making it a point to wear these this spring and summer season moving on to the next pair of sandals that I I literally could not stop wearing as soon as I got them and these probably won't be a surprise for you because I feel like you saw them on my Instagram but when I say to you I got three times the amount of wear in real life <laughs> for these sandals than I even showed on Instagram and they are of course these beautiful Chanel Chunky Dad sandals. I love these sandals. Um, these came out during the spring last year and I'm so happy that I got my hands on these. As you can see, they are in this beautiful raffia finish with the pearl uh, Chanel's on them. And I love these sandals so much. And as you can see, like I said, I got so much wear out of these. I don't even know in the front, you probably can see just like more signs of wear. I definitely will be taking these to my cobbler before I wear them again, just to have a new sole put on the bottom and also just to kind of see what touch-ups he can do just so I maintain, you know, the shoe itself. But I absolutely love these sandals. You guys know Chanel has been very, very hit or miss for me. Um, and I have given you guys my honest thoughts about the brand, just, what they're doing and the things that I personally don't agree with. However, they did it right with these sandals. Um, none of the pearls have come out and that actually was a really big concern for me when I bought these was how quickly are these pearls going to pop out? Because listen, the quality of Chanel these days, we talked about it before, but it's not giving, okay? It's not giving. Nonetheless, I absolutely love them and I will continue to get my wear out of these beautiful, chunky burlap Chanel sandals. All right, ladies, so moving on, this next item is going to be the one and only clothing item in this video. And you definitely have seen these if you follow me on Instagram, which says, if you don't follow me on the gram, what are you doing? Go follow me on Instagram. Um, but you definitely have seen these over on the gram and of course they are going to be my Prada nylon shorts absolutely love these shorts I want to say I purchased these at the beginning of the summer season or maybe the tail end of the spring can't quite remember but very happy to have these they are honestly just the perfect pair of go-to lightweight loose shorts now obviously you don't have to get a pair of Prada nylon loose shorts any loose boxer style short I would recommend is going to be a great investment for your wardrobe. Like I said, I got a ton of wear out of these. I styled them several ways over on the gram. I wore them IRL with sneakers, sandals, heels, slides, literally any shoe I could wear with these, I wore with these. Mine are in an Italian 46, which I guess you would say is like equivalent-ish to a US 12. I wouldn't say that these truly fit like a US 12. Again, it's an Italian brand so in my opinion anything that is french or italian is always going to run a bit small i am about a u.s size eight 
but I would say that these comfortably fit either an eight or a 10. A 12, you definitely could get into them, but I will say they probably will be a little bit tight on the waist. So that is just something to know when it comes to sizing about these. Nonetheless, I'm obsessed with these shorts and I will definitely continue to get my wear out of them this spring and summer season. Right, I've definitely saved the best for last. And this is something that, girl, when I say to you, as soon as this item came in the mail, I immediately started to wear her. She is absolutely gorgeous. I'm pretty sure you guys know the item that I'm gonna share with you all, but I am still head over heels. And this is something that I would say is probably the best thing that I purchased, if not the best, easily top three but maybe not even top three. It just may be the best item that I purchased that I will 100% continue to wear this spring and summer season. And that is going to be, of course, my big body Bottega bag. You guys, I love this bag and she is huge. Hopefully I can kind of fit her in the frame. If you don't know, I purchased this, I wanna say maybe like midsummer last year from the real real this is not new bottega um daniel lee this is not matthew blazy who is the new creative director this is just old bottega i want to say this is probably maybe give or take seven or eight years old maybe even a little older this bag is absolutely gorgeous as you can see she is in this beautiful kind of like mossy green color with a little bit of a lime undertone the color is a little bit dark um on screen but in person it's definitely bright and beautiful and it's just a great pop of color as we all know that bottega kelly green was really big and really strong and though i still am loving green i'm definitely drifting away from that bright kelly green and gravitating to more muted greens and you guys, this is just a gem. Every time I wore this bag, everywhere I went, I was getting compliments and questions about this bag and for great reason. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's in really good condition. I'm definitely going to continue to get wear out of her. And I'm actually going to be doing um, a roundup of like pre-loved Bottega bags that I have just randomly seen on the market that are in beautiful colors and in great condition. I think a lot of people oftentimes forget that, no, it may not be new Bottega, but there are so many older Bottega pieces that you can find that are in amazing condition, that are at great prices and in beautiful colors. So definitely keep your eye out on my blog for that post. Nonetheless though, this beauty, obviously will continue to get a ton of wear this spring and summer season that is it that is everything that i had to show you in this video some of these items like i said you saw a ton of last spring and summer season some of these items you did not see enough either way though i will be making a conscious effort to get my wear out of all of these pieces and let me just say um i know that when it comes to luxury items we tend to focus on getting our wear out of those items because obviously they are at a higher price point so it just makes sense that you want to get your wear out of them but i also want to just note the fact that you don't have to just get your wear out of luxury items anything that you spend your money on anything that you spend your coin on whether it's a five dollar bag from the goodwill or a five hundred dollar bag or a five thousand dollar bag where would you buy simply because you spent your money on it i just want to highlight that because again i know that i focus on luxury items but to be honest with you guys anything that i spend my money on whether or not it's luxury whether or not it is a designer i'm going to get my wear out of it simply because i spent my coins on it and i want to encourage you guys to do the same so with that being said that is everything per usual if you are not already subscribed to my channel sis what are you doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and while you are there hit the bell notification so you are notified when i upload a new video also please be sure to give these videos a thumbs up it really does help with the youtube algorithm and making sure that my videos do pop up for those who like these types of videos if you are not already following me over on instagram girl be sure to follow me over on the gram check out my blog chanelfiles.com as i said i am currently working on my older season big body bottega post
post and I really really do have some great bags that I would love and I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys so be sure to keep your eyes out on my blog for that also in regards to the monthly newsletter you guys have been giving me such good feedback about coming out with my monthly newsletter and I'm definitely going to be doing so I don't have any links yet I don't have any dates yet but please be on the lookout for um, a post either on the community page or over on Instagram in regards to when you can sign up and of course last but certainly not least stay safe stay blessed and I will talk to you guys in the next video